Now, it's no secret that the current NBA champion of the Toronto Raptors, Nick Nurse, started his professional coaching career in the British Basketball League. But just how many great coaches have come out of the BBL? Well, let's look at the current coaches. You've got Vince McCauley of the London Lions, Rob Padanosh of the Leicester Riders, you've got Abita Leons of the Sheffield Sharks, and a guy called Paul James, aka PJ, of the Plymouth Raiders. Right, but now let's look at the late 80s and throughout the 90s of the Golden Era. You had Jim Brandon of the Sheffield Sharks. You had Chris Finch, who's currently associate coach of the New Orleans Pelicans. You had a guy called Mickey Bett of the Thames Valley Tigers. And you had a guy called Paul James again of the Thames Valley Tigers. But there's one coach that was really great, and that is the great Billy Mims. But right now, we're going to go back down memory lane and look at the career of this magnificent basketball coach. Before we go back down memory lane of Billy Mims and his great achievements in the British Basketball League, right now he's head coach of Florida Tech of the Sunshine State Conference NCAA Division II and currently holds a great coaching pedagogy, charisma, and wonderful personality. Here's what it's like. Now, Billy Mims is one of the greatest basketball coaches in the history of the British Basketball League. He started his coaching career in the UK with the London Leopards, won multiple trophies, and then had a brief stint with the Leicester Riders, where he also took them to their first ever two bits of silverware in the British Basketball League. Now, Billy Mims first started his coaching career in South Carolina as an assistant and associate coach at places such as College of Charleston and Winthrop University. But it wouldn't be till the summer of 1986 when a traveling team from Ireland came to the United States through some contacts and said to Billy that they wanted him to be their coach in this tour. He ended up going and beating teams such as Wake Forest University. So what happens next? Billy Mims is on his way to Ireland where he's offered a head coaching role at Neptune Basketball Club. And in his first season, he was able to guide the team to its first ever national league championship and first ever national top four championship. Billy Mims is quickly becoming internationally recognized as a top American basketball coach. But after one season, he would return back to the United States and return to the NCAA. So Coach Billy Mims is now coaching at Barry and living in the city of Miami. But it's not until the summer of 1994 that he receives a phone call from a guy called Barry Dow, who's now the new general manager of this new British Basketball League franchise called the London Leopards, owned by the great Harvey Goldsmith. And they're interested in signing one of Billy's players, but in the end, they decide not to go with the player. Then they asked Billy at the end of the phone call, would you like to be the head coach of the new team, the London Leopards? Can you come joining us in London tomorrow? But Billy's coaching basketball camp, and it's a Wednesday. He says, I'm done on Friday at 5 p.m. So Billy Dow's like, all right, get to the airport, and at 8 o'clock, you're on the next flight from Miami all the way to London. So Billy then gets on a plane, and he arrives in the city of London in the United Kingdom. He's taken for a tour around town. He meets the likes of Carl Brown, Ronnie Baker, Julio Polite at the Guildford Spectrum, and then he goes to Planet Hollywood. And he goes downstairs to discuss and negotiate with Barry Dell. And it's at this point, he meets Bruce Willis and Sylvester Stallone. And Sylvester Stallone goes right up to Bill and he says, you, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now, that actually didn't happen, of course. But you get the point. It's pretty cool that this guy, young basketball coach Billy Mims from South Carolina, is now taking the head coaching role of the next biggest basketball team in the British Basketball League. And he's beating Rocky in the city of London. Great, now Billy Mims is on his way to London to coach this new British Basketball League franchise called the London Leopards. Now, where in London do they play? Well, they play in a place in South London on the Isle of Dogs. That's next door to a football team called, um... Yeah, we don't say their name, actually. Oh, yeah, we don't actually say their name in here. Now, the first two years for the London Leopards weren't so easy for them as they finished in sixth and in fourth place. Now, you gotta think, with a lot of money that they're putting into the club, they're gonna start demanding results, but... In the 1996-97 regular season of the British Basketball League, this is where Billy Mims would lead the London Leopards to their first two domestic trophies. First one, leading them to a BBL Cup final where they ended up defeating the Sheffield Sharks on their home court in the Sheffield Arena. Then, they go into the BBL Trophy, but their arch rivals in London Towers, who were in Wembley, would beat them to that. Both these two teams would battle for the league, and the London Leopards would end up finishing first, so already now they have their first two trophies here in British Basketball. Can they get the third one, the playoff championship? 
Well, they go through the playoffs, they make it to the semifinals at Wembley. They have a very, very close game against a very inspiring Chester Jets team who are dark horses in the first place. London Leopards do ease them out. They go to the final, and who do they meet? London Towers. But a late foul from Eric Burks, which sends Danny Lewis, Diamond Danny Lewis, that is, to the free throw line for two shots. And the London Towers win the playoff final by one point. London is the pride of British basketball now. You got the London Leopards, they got the league, they got the cup, London Towers, they got the trophy, and they got the BABL playoff championship. What made Billy Mims such a great basketball coach in London Leopards? Now, the thing is, you gotta understand, he already had a great coaching pedagogy because he came to the United States working in the NCAA Division I, the highest level, and he'd also proven his worth as a head coach in Ireland. But the thing was, he wasn't one of those Bobby Knight style of coaches coming in, shouting at players, marching all this hundred push-ups. He was a guy that was man to man, person to person. He knew how to relate to players. He had players such as Robert Youngblood, the great Ronnie Baker, great shooters such as John White. He knew how to treat them like people and get the best out of them as players. And that's why he was such a great coach. The following season, in the 1997-98 regular season of the British Basketball League, again the Leopards finished top of the league. That was now the third trophy in four seasons. After that though, things would go a little bit downhill. In that very same season, they'd lose to the eighth seed of Manchester Giants in the playoffs, and in the 1999 regular season of the British Basketball League, things started to go sour. Now the London Leopards finally decide to relieve Billy Mims of his duties as head coach from the leadership, and that turned out to be a great decision. Now, Billy's at home, he's waiting for things to turn around, and he gets a phone call. There weren't iPhones back then, but he still got a phone call. And at the end of that phone call, he says, Oh, uh, hello there, am I talking to you, Billy Mims? <coughs> Sorry, that was an American accent. Hello? Am I talking to Billy Mims? Eh? I want to let you know what this phone call's all about, so don't shoot. Okay, I'm really sorry, Kevin. That was a really bad Canadian accent, but he gets offered the head coaching role at the Leicester Riders. Now, what you know today as the Leicester Riders is the oldest professional British basketball league club in the whole of British basketball. Back then, they were kind of at times everybody's punching back. They hadn't won anything at the BBL level. Already in the 2000-2001 regular season of the British Basketball League, he takes the Leicester Riders to the semifinals of the National Cup, defeats Paul James and the Thames Valley Tigers, and then he went on to win the National Cup. So Billy Mims is doing what he does best at a new club, he's winning trophies. Oh, and just to let you know, the team that he beat in the National Cup final was his old team, the London Leopards, who were then coached by a guy called Bob Dunwald, I think. But it's not done there. Now, Billy Mims also takes the Leicester Riders all the way to Wembley for the playoff championship, past the semi-finals, and in the end, they defeat everybody's homegrown favorite team of the British Basketball League, the Sheffield Sharks. Now, Billy Mims won three trophies at the London Leopards, goes to Leicester Riders, who back then didn't have much success in the British Basketball League, and already brings them their first silverware at Britain's top flight level of professional basketball. Again, any arguments? Billy Mims is one hell of a basketball coach. After Billy Mims left the Leicester Riders, he then went on to look for a new challenge. There was a brief opportunity in Portugal, but he decided not to take that one up. Instead, he decided to go back home to the United States. But when he went back to the United States, he ended up going to the state of Texas. Now, they had a pretty good basketball program, but let's just say living in Texas, it's not quite the same as living in Florida. So after one season, Billy Mims decided to return back to Florida and then became the head coach at Florida Tech. And it was in the same conference, the Sunshine State Conference, where he was coaching before, before he moved to the British Basketball League, where he was coaching at Barry. So Billy was finally home. Billy Mims has now been the head coach at Florida Tech for the last 15 seasons. And there's no doubt that he's become more than just a basketball coach because everybody that plays for him says that not only is he a great coach, but he's also a great mentor and a great educator. And that, my friend, is the story of the head men's basketball coach at Florida Tech. The man who started his professional coaching career in Ireland, one year of success, and then spent glorious years and seasons in the British Basketball League, starting with the London Leopards, three trophies in five seasons, and then bringing the first ever success to the oldest professional basketball team in the UK, the Leicester Riders. And even right now, he's still building his legacy at Florida Tech, trying to ensure that they will always finish as one of the strongest teams in the Sunshine Conference State. One thing is definitely for sure, Billy Mims will also be known as one of the greatest basketball coaches ever in the history of the British Basketball League.